Divine Ofori Amankwa is Principal Teleco Solutions Architect, Telecom Systems Business at Dell Technologies, and he is going to discuss how to remove some of the deployment roadblocks we are seeing. Divine, tell us why Dell Telecom infrastructure blocks can simplify VRAN and Open RAN deployments. Dell Telecommunication Infrastructure Blocks for Rain River allow CSVs to automate their processes and take on all the best in class innovation that Dell has built together with our partners Intel and Wind River in realizing the benefits of an open, disaggregated cloud native network. We do this through four distinct approaches. One, we ensure a faster time to market because we have an engineered pre-validated design and solution that is loaded at the factory with all the software components so that it reduces the manual operations that a CSP would have traditionally done as hardware and software arrived at the, at the sales side or at the network operation center. Secondly, we have ensured that we've built continuous improvements through our CICD pipeline to ensure that the benefits of a modern evolving architecture are continuously introduced to the CSP. Thirdly, we have ensured that working together with a large ecosystem of NEPs and partners, we have pre-validated and tested the configurations for specific use cases that allow CSVs to rapidly onboard and reduce the activities from a day zero, a day one, and a day two perspective and beyond that would have been required to stand up a telco cloud network, leveraging Dell Telecommunications infrastructure blocks for Wind River. Finally, we provide a unified end-to-end -end support from Dell with Dell being responsible for all parts of the solution and providing the first level and second level support. This reduces the burden on the CSP, the communication services provider, to interface with five or six different vendors across the infrastructure, the CAS, the NEP, and sometimes the fault management stack. This is all now consolidated with Dell Technologies being your prime with the Dell Te Telecommunications Infrastructure Block, being able to help you quickly resolve issues, address the compliance metrics, and reducing the number of swivel chair of vendors that a CSV has to mediate, interact, and manage over the life cycle of the solution. These are a few of the reasons uh, why we've introduced the Dell Telecommunication Infrastructure Block for Wind River, the benefits that it brings to operators, and we hope that operators can join us in this journey of realizing some of the benefits, the promises, and the gains of VRUN and ORUN, leveraging the innovation that we have introduced, and as we continue to introduce new versions in the coming years. Thank you. Divine, thank you very much. And don't forget, if you have questions on Divine's presentation or on anything you have heard in the show so far, then please send them in now. It is getting late. We've already got a lot of questions, but if we don't answer them in this show, we will share them with our guests later. Now, back to our guests. And we heard from Divine on some of the roadblocks that CSPs face. Paul, let me uh, come to you first. What do you see as the greatest roadblocks to virtual open run at scale? Thanks, Guy. I think three quick points. The first is that we're able to now deploy OpenRAN with a proven integrated solution that's known to work from live deployment. And that further, once that, that solution is deployed in the network, uh, it's continuously integrated for the lifetime of that deployment through the partnerships that we've shared here. And then finally, bringing in automation uh, through proven seasoned deployment that allows us to incorporate learnings from live production deployments of OpenRAN and increase the automation to reduce the OPEX for service providers enables us to solve these challenges, right? These are obstacles, uh, but they've now been solved. And that's why we've, we've passed the tipping point with OpenRAN. 
Great to hear. Thanks, Paul. And Christina, let's come across to you. What are you hearing uh, and how is Intel positioned to address these roadblocks? Yeah, I'm just going to add, Paul uh, expressed it really well. So I'm just going to add a little bit, totally agree with what Paul said and just, just going to add a few or, or a couple of points there. Number one in roadblock, I think, I think we're at a point where we need to think, we need to think how are we going to bring innovation faster? I think that's number one because bringing innovation will result in lowering or, uh, or, or reducing the total cost of energy, which, which at the end of the day is what the operators are looking for. How are we going to reduce the total cost of energy, but really <clears throat> focusing the, the total part of it, right? Not just one point, but that total operation, automation, everything, how the, that uh, cost comes down and how do we do it through bringing fast enough innovation so that's that's uh, that's number one and then the other thing that i would say obviously we're here to work with our partners to collaborate with you to share our learnings to expose all our capabilities that will bring that innovation and will bring all those uh, new features that you would want in your network we're here we have been here for a while in this journey super happy to collaborate with you. And again, I will refer back to the partnership that we have, the fantastic partnership with Dell and Wind River. Christina, thank you very much. And Manish, solutions like Dell's telecom infrastructure block certainly can help carriers to, to deploy open RAN, but how do they help carriers in the long run as they pivot to this more dynamic software-led architecture? You know, How are you helping them stay ahead of issues like updates and patches? Yeah, I think uh, there, there, there are a couple of key things here just quickly to note. Integration of the server gas layer, done. Automation, done. Proven at scale, done. KPIs delivered, done. But we're not stopping here. As Paul shared, there are more innovations coming. As I shared, we have our continuous roadmaps planned with multiple releases down the road and on a continuous basis delivering further innovation further improvement to the service providers on an ongoing basis. I think it is important since you touched on the roadblocks, it is important uh, in my view to touch on the fact that the service providers also now are at a very, very interesting point that they need to think about transforming their own operations uh, and really start to think about taking the advantages of AI and machine learning and deep learning that is very much here and now and really driving that automation on steroids. To do that, you need to transform the network, the infrastructure, put the right cloud native infrastructure, the cloud native architectures all in place that starts to pave the way for bringing that hyper automation onto your networks, cut that operate OPEX out further of the network and deliver better quality. It's going to become a differentiator in the marketplace and it's going to deliver much better TCO, much better bottom line to the service provider. So I do think this, this transformation is already is undergoing, is essential, and it's paving the way for what's going to be the next biggest transformation of bringing AI, machine learning, deep learning onto the networks. Thanks, Manish.